Hello everybody, this is Cyrus coming at you with a video tonight with a couple of announcements. I have some bad news. There will be no new videos for one week, uh, which would mean not until a Monday. Let me just double check the date. Monday the 4th of March. So I'm going to do a hiatus and I will explain why. So it's really tough making this YouTube channels work these days. Uh, everybody seems to experience this. But uh, as like an internet marketing guy, what I want to do is I want to spend a week not uploading any videos so I can look at the analytics and see how sustainable the channel is even when I'm not continually producing videos as I've been more or less doing since about November. So I notice if two days goes by and I don't make up make a video, my, my viewer count drops by like 200% uh, or something. And so I'm curious just how low it will get without doing any uploads and how much organic traffic is being generated just from the keywords and the YouTube searches and things like that. In other words, how sustainable is the channel? Am I able to keep getting subscribes even if I'm not slaving away every single other day doing videos and doing work on it is it possible just to kind of you know let it do its own thing a little bit you know get on the internet marketing angle i sell like a lot of cookbooks and things like that with my publishing company and the key to having kept that business sustainable is a self-sufficiency so there's enough search engine optimization enough good topics out there with different books that i know you know every day people will be, will be buying books uh, so even books I've released five years ago, I still get sales on. And this is kind of what keeps me able to do uh, earn privileges in this physical existence, such as being able to eat food. So apparently you have to keep eating food to be able to keep yourself alive, to keep doing work. It's really ridiculous. But I have to do that as well as while well, I backpack around the world indefinitely. Uh, I need to have like, places to live. And so that's also really weird, really difficult. I prefer other systems and other planes of existence, but unfortunately here, I have to use physical currency to be able to sleep on beds like this lovely Airbnb in Indonesia. Uh, if you want to help with that process at all and help keep the work I'm doing going, then I'd ask you to please uh, you can become like a student. Uh, we do classes twice a week. Uh, that's Afterlife University. So um, if you want to get involved with that, uh, then just shoot me a message. Uh, on Facebook or on here, wherever, and uh, I can get you hooked up with that. It's one way to support this channel. I'll probably be doing like a subscribe star soon. Uh, it's a new site, kind of like Patreon, and uh, I'll try to put in some perks there as well for people who want to support this uh, tiny channel. So that's that that announcement. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a week while I, you know do this bit of work but you can always find me at the afterlife topics metaphysics facebook group um what else um coming into march i will be dissecting the work of anthony peak a bit because i'm still on it seems i assume for a live debate with peak now anthony peak is the author of a book called uh, i don't want to get the name wrong is there life after death and um, is there life after death Anthony Peake let's put it into Google and make sure that I have the right name yeah, is there life after death by Anthony Peake I'm going to I'm going to uh, shrink my screen a little bit show you guys what I'm talking about I don't know if that's coming up at all like it's supposed to come up like whatever the window is but I'm not seeing it well whatever anyway so the book is called is there life after death by Anthony Peake so Peake is the guy who literally thinks that when you die you are forced to have to live your same life again again and again and um, you know I, I find it to be a really preposterous theory that causes a lot of pain and grief for people who hear it and uh, you know, so a video way back, I called the idea ridiculous, and I, you know, I, I basically called him ridiculous for, for coming up with these ideas that that we, basically you die Groundhog's Day, back back coming out of your mom again, back to the same life again and again. What's the evidence of this quantum mechanics and deja vu? 
So it's really convoluted. And uh, so he found a video and then basically told me that I'm a nothing author wannabe who has a YouTube channel that nobody visits and uh, I'm, I'm self-published and I have no credentials and how dare I have the audacity to challenge his authority. And he didn't say it exactly like that, but in private conversation with him, that's basically what he was saying to me. And then he followed that up with a challenge to debate him on this theory that we all have to live the same life over and over again. So I don't like this idea continuing to um, cause grief for people. And so, of course, I accepted that, but it doesn't mean I'm going to have to pick apart his book, Is There Life After Death? And I hope to do that on this channel as well as on AfterlifeTopics.com and hopefully just really push home the point that there's a lot of evidence that um, never suggests that we have to live our same lives over and over and over and over again. Uh, this is literally an idea that a stoner I once knew thought of after a bad acid trip. And he lived in like a half halfway state of paranoia the entire time I knew him because he thought that this was what happened. Uh, so it's a really, really silly idea. And um, yeah, I'd be, I'm happy to hopefully debunk those ideas and then debate with him on his show, which by the way, even though I personally, after my personal communication with Anthony Peake, I don't think he's a nice guy. And if, if you're watching this, Anthony Peake, I'll lay that out there. Um, I don't know, like, like you know, ju just the way you handled my criticism about your work, I find to be immature. Um, so I don't like you, but I will say I like your work in terms of like your podcast and the guests you have on your show and all that. So like you're not pushing this 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 um, really crazy idea to all the episodes. So you you actually have, you know, a, a podcast I really like, uh, Anthony Peake podcast. Let me get the name of that. Uh, it's the uh, it's anthonypeak.com P-E-A-K-E -E, Ascend Podcast Archives again a lot of cool guests even if you need to like figure out how to conduct yourself and not just go you know go into insults and calling a quote you know trying, you know, trying to look down on somebody for being self-published which I mean it's, it's, it's a really silly argument because look I mean like my books are sometimes found in Barnes and Noble and bookstores and like I've never seen one of your books in those places, so why are we doing like this uh, penis measuring stuff? I don't know, but nonetheless, I, I do hope this to be a good debate, and I hope to completely debunk your crap coming up on this channel and AfterlifeTopics.com, so people don't have to worry about this idea. Uh, and I respect the work you do, Peak, and I respect your podcast, and I respect putting theories out there. But sometimes it comes a time you have to put your gloves on. You have to tackle something like this, and so I'm going to work on that. So that's um, that's basically some news uh, on my side. So yep, yeah, uh, no videos for a while. Going to be working on on, on that uh, uh, title fight, metaphysical title fight, a little bit. And um, I guess that's it. Um, so I'll see you guys coming up around the corner, and uh, I'll be reporting from my new location after I get out of Jakarta, Indonesia, off to. Uh, a new place where I will be actually staying in like a hostel, kind of like the old days, like I used to travel, like back when I was young. Uh, you know, I'd be one of, I don't, it's kind of funny, I'll probably be one of the only guys approaching middle age in, 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 in a hostel, but I'm young at heart, maybe still kind of look young too, and so I'll be in a hostel, and if I could, <laughs> be fun trying to find private places to do videos and do work, I'll figure that out when it happens. Anyway, Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys soon.